Our next caller is Sean from the UK. Hey, Sean, how can we help you? Hi, guys. Thanks for having me on. Um, yeah, so I was just wondering, is there a downside to doing maybe a, uh, a full body split one week followed by push-pull legs the week after and then, and then just sort of continuing in that rotation? Um, not really. I'd say the only drawback from doing such a you know back and forth switch is it's hard to identify which one's working better for your body. So I, I would typically recommend sticking to one for four weeks, switching to the other one for four weeks just to see which one works better for you. But if you're pretty advanced, you know your body, uh, and you've trained this way before, not really. There's not really. I mean, as long as the volume is equated throughout the whole week. It's not gonna. It shouldn't make that big of a difference. Not to mention, there's some consistency even in that, right? Right, because he's doing the same rotation, right. so you still can get some feedback on where you're probably feeling better or making progress. Versus, I think where this, where I think we talk mostly about this not being ideal is the people that uh, change every workout. Yeah, right. So you're mm -hmm. full body one day, then you're splitting up another day. You're doing high reps, low reps. You're like every workout is constantly changing. Then it's really hard to measure. But if you're being consistent in in one week and you're doing a, a body part split one week and then you're doing a push pull thing the next and and then you're always kind of going through that rotation, I think that's okay. I think there's nothing wrong with that, especially if you've been lifting for a long time. Cool. Yeah, that, that's really helpful. Because I, I was think, thinking about that because I'm I am trying to be as consistent as possible. I wonder, like, because I I tend to do a bit more volume on the push pull legs week rather than mm. I do more more sort of supersets, I guess, on push pull legs, mm. and then. Now, how, how, how long you, how long you been training, Sean? So I'd, I'd probably about four years, but um, I, I was pretty consistent before the first lockdown, and then the gyms closed, and it and it sort of turned everything upside down. But um, I've been I've been back in for a few months, and I think I'm I've, I've got over the hump of not being consistent <laughs> now, if you know what I mean. Have you noticed the one thing that I noticed when I was doing the split routine more often, I would overreach on leg day specifically too. So has that ever been an issue or, or is it pretty much, uh, you know, you get a nice uh, dose of, of intensity? Yeah, it's, de it's definitely a nice dose. That's why, because from listening to you guys, it was all, I, I've heard you mention that uh, full body is the, the best way to go, really. Mm -hmm. um, but I, re I, I really, I like doing a leg day. I, re I, like, I enjoy the, the feeling of, of, of really burning my legs out and, and the, the working the muscle groups together on push day. I really enjoy that as well. So that, that was the main thing behind it because I'm really enjoying push pull legs, but I want to yeah. get the best benefits by doing full body like you guys say to do now now sean have you in your four years of lifting have you ever followed a routine like to the t have you ever purchased a program or ran like somebody else's like a coach writing a program for you uh, no I've, I've never purchased one i've i've always just i've always really done push pull legs and just scoured the internet and found and sort of made my own routines off from like what i found on google basically so i mean if you'd be open to it, I would love to see you follow one program all the way through. And what I normally tell someone like you who's got experience and kind of knows what they like is like, listen, I'm, what I will tell you is that you can most certainly manipulate and change things. But if you just give me those three months, let me program your training for three months, follow it to a T, trust the process, and just let me see what, what happens from you. Um, I actually think that you would you would see some benefit from just sticking to a, a routine that somebody who's non-biased is has created for you because we we all have our tendencies and you know this because we you listen to the show and we all talk about this is that we and we, we're still guilty of this to this day uh, with all of our experience of of coaching and training and writing programs i mean there's there's never a shortage of what i should do in the gym i still have tendencies i still have exercises i like to do rep ranges body part splits specific ways and i always kind of gravitate back to those things and one of the nice things about having somebody who's created a program for you is it's you're not allowing that to creep in your decision on how you train you're following a program and if it's written very well by somebody who knows what they're doing it should have some beautiful progress from it so i i would challenge you to try that at least once in your life where you you stick to something and uh, the guys would be more than w willing to probably send you one for free to try out. It yeah, would be let's, let's shoot them over maybe Maps Aesthetic. Yeah. How's that sound, Sean? Uh, that'd be brilliant, yeah. I yeah. mean, I think that that's probably something that maybe I'm looking for maybe then just to 
something that's a, a long program that I can stick to. And yeah, that, that'd be brilliant. Thanks, guys. Yeah, no yeah. problem. We'll send yeah. it. By the way, I have no idea where Leeds is in England. I know you told Doug earlier that's where <laughs> you're from. How close is that to Birmingham? Is that far? Um, it's about a two and a half hour drive, maybe. Okay. So I was just, the reason why I'm asking, that's where Dorian Yates' uh, gym is. He's obviously the best English bodybuilder of all time. So I want to know if you ever visited his gym. Oh, no, no. I'm not done that yet. Uh, get well, over, go over there, take some pictures, and DM me. I, yeah. I, I would love to check. I'd love to go check out his gym. Well, it's, follow follow the program, Sean. Trust the process. Follow it to a T. Resist the temptation to want to change and manipulate it just because you, you you know what you're doing and you've been doing this for a while. Trust the process, and then and then circle back with us and 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 tell me what you learned, what you felt uh, about that whole process. So we're gonna send it to you for yeah. free. So you got it. Okay, so there's there's no excuses why you shouldn't do it. Now just trust the process and stick with it. All right. That's brilliant. Yeah, I'll I'll get back in touch once uh, once I've done it. I'll I'll give you an update halfway through. And then, uh, I appreciate it. Right. At the end. Thanks, Sean. Great. Thanks, guys. See you later. Thank you. You know, some of my, some of my favorite listeners come from England. I just because just their accent. Well, no, it's not just because the accent. They, they their sense more, of humor. Yeah, sense yeah of humor. it's just it is. so it's typically it's you know usually on par. kind of matches ours. But yeah, I, I've wanted to go there so bad just to visit Dorian Yates's uh, basement gym. He's got like this old basement oh, yeah. gym. You're watching these videos that are just it's just it's like beautiful. It's glorious. It's that where are we going? You know, the, but yeah, what you said, Adam's perfect because if he hasn't followed a structured program, he's going to be, like you said, he'll follow, he'll be falling into his old tendencies and never really potentially seeing his full potential. Well, I can say that so confidently because this is still my fault today. That's everybody. Uh, yeah. yeah. 20 years in this game. I, I Myself think, and all my friends. I think I'm pretty good at writing programs, know what I'm doing, but I tell you right now, if I follow ours and, yeah. and stick with it, I always progress. And if it, it accelerates the results. It does. I mean, if it's written well with that intention, it's because it's non-biased. You're not, there's no emotion in it. We sat down, we wrote it with the intention of this is the most ideal way for this avatar that we're building in our mind to follow a program. So when someone goes in, you just don't think that way. Well, oh, I feel like this today. You're like, oh, I don't really feel exactly. like doing Turkish yeah. get-ups. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and you start to you modify. Alter it. Yeah. yeah. And is, is that okay? Sure. You're fine. It's not gonna it's not gonna hurt you and you're still gonna be healthy. For longevity. Right. You know, it's 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 great. But yeah, if you if you specifically want to change your body and That's have right. like a, an amazing physique, you, you want to do a, a legit program. Exactly. Look if